guys, welcome to or back to my channel. Um, I'm just hanging out in Cosmos Turnout. <clears throat> I didn't really know where else to do this intro, so I was like, oh, I'll just go hang out with Cosmo, but he's currently running away from me. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanted it to be a different one. Unfortunately, I had some complications, which I'll talk about later. But, so, for today, we are going to be heading over to the barn and building <clears throat> some landscaping and hopefully going to try and build an arena, which is really exciting. So, yeah, but anyway, so the name that I chose for the barn was Shady Creek um, and Lillian Beachfire, I think, yeah, gave me that um, suggestion and it was my favorite. I really liked it and she also wrote some really sweet stuff which I don't know, just won me over but <laughs> anyway so I was so excited to put that name on a tag box but um, I had some complications and I'll explain it later but anyway so yeah we're just gonna I'll go and I'll explain things but okay so I don't know I just feel like the new Minecraft update just really was really messing with me. <laughs> no shaders and now I can't seem to use the fill command like outside of my world or something it's really interesting I'm so glad that I managed to do my hair to chill before all of this happened but anyway so I guess I can kind of show you what I did and how I did it even though I can't actually do it um but I just try to pick a spot that's kind of oh <laughs> whoops <laughs> I just try to pick a spot that's um, just away from my main stuff just so that you can't see it because as you can see there are maps and they're extremely large so um, but the bottom is the heritage hill and then on top since I already copied these and I didn't really need these anymore I just put them in a chest so I have them if I need them I just used the fill command and did the side of the tack box on top which you can see is my double craft and the colors always do look a little bit different on the map than like down here but anyway so that's how I did it and then I just drew all of this on here well not drew I built it by hand but over over here I was I had mapped out um, the map and then I was just gonna fill it in and then write all of my stuff on it for the other barn and of course I was gonna have to do um, since the chest is too wide, I was gonna have to, you know, do another one, but this was just the start of it. And, like, I go to fill it, and it's like, cannot place blocks outside of the world or something. And I was reading a little bit about it, and I tried a lot of different things. I tried, like, uh, making my render distance as far as it could go, and, like, even moving my, um, world spawn closer or something. I don't know. I tried a lot of things, but it just wouldn't let me fill it in. So, <laughs> I don't know maybe I just need to try to figure it out honestly I'm kind of lazy and I'm kind of just like whatever <laughs> um but yeah anyway that's that's the problem so I'm just gonna just so the chests look look like tack boxes I'm just gonna put the heritage hill um banner on it so that it looks fine but kind of sad anyway I'm still gonna call it shady creek even though I can't really have it on the tack box um but also if you guys have any like way to fix it or what to do then let me know um but yeah I don't know I just I couldn't figure it out but anyway let's head over and begin building the arena and kind of fixing up the back part of the barn okay guys so welcome back to the classic voiceovers while I build I hope you guys enjoy these um but anyway so firstly what I'm starting off with is I'm just kind of getting the path going because this is going to go to the arena because the arena is also going to be back here but anyway I'm just starting it off using some concrete and concrete powder some wool um, carpet and then a little bit of dirt just to kind of add to it but so next I'm going to build a cedar and I don't really know what else to do like right here between this hill and the barn because it's like not enough space to put a little pasture but I don't really know. I was thinking about maybe doing like a um, trailer parking area, but I don't know. I just figured I would just do some trees. So I'm just going to pretty much just kind of build a bunch of trees around here, um, like cedars and probably a couple oak trees. Just try to kind of fill the space up because I don't know what else to do. So that's what we're going to be doing. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna build an oak tree now, and I'm gonna kind of do this one a little bit different than I usually do them. I am gonna try to make the trunk like a lot lower and kind of make it sprout out lower so that you can actually see like the limbs. Um, and then for the top part, it's pretty much just gonna be the same. I did show you guys how to build, um, how I build my oak trees, I think in, like in the first episode, but I just go crazy with the wood and then, um, get my leaves and place them all around, um, leaving it kind of sparse so that it has a bit of a see-through effect and you can kind of see the wood. I just think it looks a lot more realistic and then I get fence posts and put leaves on top of those. So, there you go. Okay, so here's how it's looking. I am going to build some more trees, but I'm going to go ahead and map out the arena so that I know where it is and I can kind of build the trees around it. But anyway, so the first corner is going to be here and I'm just using um, the same fencing as the two front paddocks for the arena. But anyway, again, people, I will link the video in the description if you want to know how to retexture these end rods <clears throat> in order to make these, to make this, this fence design. <laughs> oh my gosh. But okay, so I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to make the entrance to the arena quite close so that you don't have to walk super far from the barn after you get tacked up. So yeah, and also guys, this arena is going to be quite, quite a good size. I'm definitely going to give the um, exact dimensions if you want to build it. Um, but I just wanted a larger arena to ride in since the one at my house is super small. So I wanted this option, but it's not going to be like huge, but it's definitely, it's going to be a nice size. So I'm really excited, but I will leave the, or give you guys the dimensions. Um, I think I have them written down on a paper, but <laughs> I'll go get that in a second. Um, but anyway, so yes, this is the short side and then the long side is going to be going, um, down parallel with the barn. Okay, so I had to get up and get my paper, but so this arena is 76 blocks long and then 55 blocks wide. So there we go. But now all I have to do is fill it in with sand and then we're going to build some jumps. Voila, here it is filled in. Luckily, the fill command did work, which was super nice because filling this in by hand would have been extremely hard and that just would have not been fun. But so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of ruffle up the sand here where the horses are like going in and out just to make it look a little more realistic. And then I'm going to take my retexture trap doors and make a little um, gate and also the video... Um, if you want to know how to make the <laughs> stall doors and trap doors as well, the same video that I will link in the description for the fencing, I also kind of show you how to make the um, stall doors and things like that. So, yes, there you go. Um, now I'm just going to extend the path um, and take it to the arena and just adding in dirt and stone and um, concrete powder. And then I'm going to add some flowered bushes and then um, some grass just all around here and there just to add the extra detail just to make it just to make it that much better um, and I'm also going to kind of add some grass here and there around the arena along the fencing under the trees and then all around <laughs> I kind of just went crazy with it um, but okay so I'm gonna make a little path that's going to come around the barn and meet up with the other the other door um, and I'm going to add some spruce oak and birch bushes and then I'm gonna build a little I call it a peach tree even though it's not really a peach tree it's just it's a small it's basically a small oak tree but the space here was I feel like it was too small to put another oak tree so I'm just improvising and making a small shrub bush thing but I just I don't know I think these are really cute and they're just they're just cute but I'm going to make stone around it and then add some flowers and mulch and then I'm going to put in some flowered leaves just to make it just to make it cuter um but yeah so after this that's pretty much it um I do I'm still gonna add a little detail here and there I add some rose bushes and after this we can get started with building some jumps Okay, let's build the first jump, but also guys, I did add strips of moss block behind the barn where I was building everything. It's just one extra thing that I added, but I forgot to film myself, so 
anyway, if you if you noticed it and it suddenly appeared, <laughs> sorry, I forgot to film, but anyway, so my jumps I feel like are gonna be more along the hunter sides other than like show jumping. I feel like I feel like my jumps are always more hunter jumper. <laughs> hunter, not jumper. Um, but yeah, I just always go for the green and the kind of lower wood, I guess. I don't know, but that's kind of the style that I'm going for. Um, and I'm going to try to make like a little course, but this arena actually is kind of turning out smaller than I thought, but it's, it's fine. I still love it. So yeah, hope you guys get some fun jump ideas. Feel free to take these and use them in your own arena. So yeah. be the end of today's video but i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because i'm so excited to bring my horses here to ride and i just have a lot of fun video ideas coming so stay tuned but anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time bye mm -hmm.